those objectives of the speech. Now, Postmaster Dillon Alarch is going to attend his project number 660 Manlo with vocal variety. Postmaster Jerome Alarcho with a speech entitled A Wake Up Call. A Wake Up Call, let's all welcome Postmaster Jerome Alarcho. A world renowned investor and a philanthropist. He founded the Joe Foundation that encourages wealthy people around the world to help those in need. He has shown that the individual's power and the determination and the countless women and men to make this world a better place. The philanthropist, the Global Philanthropist Award 2030 is awarded to Dr. Jerome B. Alarshu, PhD. <laughs> Alarm beeps. Sunday, September 2, 7.30 a.m. Hi, how are you today? It will be 40 degrees Celsius, and you will possibly meet people in flea flaps today. And uh, music will be played in few seconds. It's been a long day without you, my friend. It was my wake voice up, waking me up from my ambitious dream that morning. <laughs> and I have to run, for I will be late for work that day. Fellow Toastmasters, distinguished guests, good evening. Good evening. Charity, welfare. Positive impact. Great words, right? Yes. Let's dig in. The world today has 1.3 billion people who are in extreme poverty. And according to UNICEF, United Nations International Children's Fund, 22,000 children die each day due to poverty. Realization hits us hard, right? But we have to do something about it. Growing up, I am amazed and overwhelmed by my grand uh, by how my grandmother helped those people who are in need 24/7 in our village. Charity is such a gesture that instilled in me during, at the very young age, helping those people in need without expecting anything in return. I've been in the situation of those poor people or children. My experience may not be as hard as, they, as their situation is, but one thing is for sure, it's devastating and painful. People alike needs our help. Help from me, from you, <clears throat> or from anyone who are able. Warren Buffett, a CEO of Holding and Berkshire Hathaway, a person whom I admire most, person whom I admire most for co-founding Giving Pledge, it is a program. It is a program that uh, intended for wealthy individuals to donating their large percentage of their wealth to the, their wealth to charitable institutions. He is also a renowned investor and a philanthropist. In two thousand six, he donated eighty five percent of his wealth to the charitable institution. And he is also one of the awardees of the Presidential Medal of Freedom, U.S. highest civilian honor, awarded by former President, U, former U.S. President Barack Obama in 2016. And who would not know Bill Gates? 
he is co he is best known as the co-founder of Microsoft and now focusing on philanthropy with Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation alongside his wife. With this foundation, he has donated thousands, millions of dollars to charitable institutions that surely help those people to cure and aid the hunger. Fellow Toastmasters and distinguished guests, the, the question is, do we have to be somebody or to be rich like Warren Buffett and Bill Gates to be able to help or be my grandmother, an ordinary person? How often do we ask ourselves or woke up from our dreams and realizing that things does not work the way you want it to be? Just like these poor people in the world being in the be to overcome in extreme poverty. We can't control the world or the situation, but we can help those people to ease their suffering. We don't need to be a we don't need to have a degree hold to be a degree holder, own a multi company, an investor or a philanthropy to offer help and create a positive impact. Let's open up our eyes and hearts. There will be single individuals there waiting for our help. Reach out. Help someone always. You might be the one that only does. Back to you.